find the enthalpy change for the following reaction. Given other reactions where heat of formations are given and change, uh, change in enthalpy are also given. The key to solve such problems is to arrange the given equations in such a way that we obtain the parent equation. It is simple arithmetic. Now intently observe this reaction. I am explaining you how to solve such problems rather than solving that problem. Now our aim is to bring CS2, CS2 on the right hand side. Right hand side. And just see in your this thing, do we have CS2 on the right side? No, not in the first equation, not in the second, not in the third. However, it is there in the first equation on the left side. So, we shall change the direction of the first equation. So, uh, doing the same we get. So, this is that reaction with change of direction. Now, since we have reverted or reversed the direction of the reaction, the enthalpy will also be in reverse value. So, instead of 1075, it will have minus 1075. Now, let us see another element that is carbon. As you see carbon on the left hand side, it is on the left hand side and we will see how we can have it on the left hand side. So, as you go to the second equation, you see carbon is there on the left hand side. So, we will just add that equation as it is to the first just now we have written. So, that is the equation and its enthalpy change we would write as it is because we have not changed anything and that is minus 393.5. Now, same way about the third element sulfur as you can see here it is also on the left hand side. So, what we would do? We will check in which equation of the following sulfur is on the left hand side. Yeah, in the third equation it is there already in the left hand side. And are the number of moles matching? No, here we have two moles and here we have one mole. So, what to do? How we can bring two sulfur on the left hand side here? So, if we multiply the whole equation by the number two, then we will have this equation. So, this is that equation and the two in red shows we have added, we have multiplied that original equation by two and as such the enthalpy has also to be multiplied by 2. So, now you can see these are the three new equations which I have obtained and we will use these equations to derive the required equation and whatever operations we do on these equations or already have done like subtracting addition, same operations we will do on 
this side of enthalpies and obtain the value of enthalpy so to begin with now we are going to add this to this and then also this to this so we are ensuring that we get carbon on the left side and two sulfur on the left side and also CS2 on the right side so let us add all these equations simple addition and we get CO2 this CO2 we done then 2SO2 plus carbon plus O2 plus 2S plus 2O2 and on the right hand side we get CS2 plus 3O2 plus CO2 plus 2SO2 now see what all things we can cancel always remember this sign which is there in between this shall always be treated as that of equal to in mathematics so this is as good as equal to and then you can from the left hand side to the right hand side do mathematical operations like subtraction addition cancellation and so on so let us treat this as equal to sign so now is there any CA2 on the right hand side this is left hand side and is there yes this is the CA2 on the left hand side right hand side so they cancel one another this cancels this CO2 same way what about SO2 SO2 2SO2 and here 2SO2 so they also cancel one another they nullify one another next is carbon this carbon is a carbon here on the right side no so leave it as it is next is oxygen now you have got here one oxygen and here two oxygens three oxygens are there oxygen molecules on the right hand side yes three so these three and these three so we cancel with these three oxygen molecules and these three oxygen molecules is there sulfur on the right hand side no so we are left with only three entities the three entities are this one this one and CS2 so writing the same so the net reaction we get is carbon plus 2 sulfur plus CS2 and that is the same reaction which we need now what about enthalpy change now let us treat the magnitudes of enthalpies in the same just like the equations now kind attention in is inverted to the first value since we are reverse this direction the direction of the reaction the enthalpy also would change and it would become plus and we will add this to this and then to this so we have this plus this and this the two is for the 
suffixes, prefixes for the multiplication by 2. Since we have multiplied the equation by 2, the enthalpy will also be changing by that factor. And so the answer is 87.9. That is the answer. Now just to recap what we have done. First we first we studied the equation in order to get this equation we rearrange the given equations so that whatever is on the left hand side comes on the left hand side whatever comes on the right hand side it comes on the right hand side and if required we multiply the equations by the number which is required in the second step we did simple addition we added these equations so that some cancellation that take place from right hand side and the left hand side we treated this arrow as equal to and in the last stage we did the same operations on the enthalpy values to get the value of required reaction.